Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome. I'm Liz, and today we're starting a new game here on the channel. It's, well, not a new game, I suppose. It's still Mount of Blade Warband, but it's Perizno. This is another one of the uh, top tier sort of mods out there for Mount of Blade Warband. Uh, Perizno is, uh, I, I hesitate to say, based on a florist groundwork, because it is such a advanced, transformative project from Floris that it is very much its own thing. Uh, and in a lot of ways, it is developed beyond what Prophecy of Pendor has done in, in many respects. And in some, you know, Pendor has gone in different directions and advanced the, uh, the art of a warband mod in its own ways. But Prisno, Prisno, Prisno's nice. I, I don't have a lot of experience with the mod, but we're going to get into it. Hint number eight, to quickly buy and sell items in inventory window. Yeah, 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 I didn't miss a word there. Hold down control key. Well, you left click. Fascinating. So, uh, a little bit, a uh, little bit low energy at the moment, because again, it's the middle of the night as it has been uh, for a few sessions that I've started recently. I'm alive. End of game start. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, game object dot set parent null. I'm Batman. Uh, welcome to the land of Prisno, where elves and giants and blah 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 blah. By all means, read this. Uh, mod options. So these are the permanent mod options for how we're going to play our game. This is default stuff. So fog of war disabled. Uh, toggle troop skill difficulty standard and hard mode is currently disabled sure we'll just play totally stock standard i'm fine with that like i say i don't know much about this uh this mod i know mechanically a lot of things about it but th this this mod is full of quests everywhere and it's full of special features everywhere and i don't know anything about them I don't really know. I, I vaguely have an idea about some of the big events that happen. I vaguely have an idea about what some of the faction specialties are, like the ones that are really hardcore into something, like the Reich, Ride Dragons, for example. But I don't really know much about this mod. Um, we're going to play Mail because, uh, like I say, I, I, I want to sort of learn it. If we play something that's based in Calradia sometime, I might play a female playthrough. So if we do like stock florist or something, we might do female. Or uh, what, what are other, like a new dawn? That's um, that's based in Calradia as well, right? Male. So we could be a human male, elven male, dwarven male, or a giant male. We can actually change this. I think we are going to go human. I'm considering elf, but I think we're going to go human. Uh, where were you born? A cold island far to the north, a small village on Prisno's west coast. A land far from Prisno, the classic start. Uh, yeah, let's do a land far from Prisno. Why not? So we are, by stock, a man, human, impoverished noble. Growing up, we liked to swim. We became an army recruit, and we set out for personal revenge. With that setting, we would start with 15 strength, which is pretty sweet. 9 agility, 6 int. So 9 agility is enough for, what, 3 riding? We only start with two, so I'd have to put a point into riding if we did this. Our intelligence and uh, charisma are a little low. But see, see the beautiful thing about Prisno, as I understand, as you befriend the lords, like, this is an in-depth mod. Like, it encourages you to make friends with all the lords, all the kings, everybody. Because when you get people's relations to, like, 90s and 100s and all these kinds of things, you actually can get stat points from them as rewards. That's insane! And there's also like random things that give you stat points as well. So you can get a lot of extra stat points beyond what you actually level into in Prisno, as I understand. Whereas in Pandora, you can do that as well by using elixirs. You just need Qualis gems to do it. Uh, we would start with Iron Flesh and Power Strike, decent enough power throw. I kind of, I, I like the impoverished noble starts, guys. I wish you could start as like a beloved noble. Not an impo your, your father was not a, an impoverished noble. He actually sort of did his job okay as far as taking care of his people and leading and all that kind of thing but he was betrayed by somebody yeah i wish you could do that kind of thing like your uncle betrays you or something 
Um, unfortunately, though, uh, the the impoverished noble is pretty uh, acceptable as well. Weapon master one inch shields. This is based on Floris, so almost every shield requires shield skill. Some athletics, minor riding. We really want three riding because, like I say, in this mod, you don't just ride horses. You ride wolves, and you ride dragons. And, like, it, it, it's crazy. Uh, so, so a lot of these mounts require, like, seven plus riding. So you really need to hammer that agility home, too. Uh, but, like, at the same token, you can get power strike up to, I think, 15. So, are you, are you going to get 45 strength to power that? Like, holy crap. Tactics, persuasion, leadership. Okay, cool. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with this. I think we'll go with it. Unless, do we want him to maybe not be... I don't know, if we do scouting, we're probably going to have, like, uh, tracking or something like that. I don't want to shoot. Swimming probably is strength, because that... that out of all of these things, it looks like swimming would encourage strength. An army recruit, we could be a squire. We have less strength, more charisma. And a chain, oh, four leadership. Ooh. As opposed to plus two. So an army recruit would get us two riding. A squire would, all, would get us four riding. Maybe we're going to be a squire, ladies and gents. It uh, lowers our agility a good amount, but it gets us the riding. Yeah, no, you know what? No, we're gonna need more anyway. So let's let's just be. Ooh, we would have tons of money too, though, if we did that. We would have tons of money too, though, if we were a squire. Oh, the money doesn't matter, does it? No, it really doesn't. It's just money to bet on a tournament at the beginning of the game. Let's 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 be honest. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna be a squire. As an adult, we became a squire. It makes sense if our father was an impoverished noble. It thematically, it makes sense. And we are adventuring for personal revenge because of a strange accident. Wipes out a ton of stuff here. Nice. Uh, to learn for money and power. Force out of my home. I am looking at the stats here, but uh, I am liking the idea of revenge thematically. Yeah, I'm liking the idea of revenge thematically, so we're going to go with revenge. So we have very low agility as a result of this uh, by going with a squire, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to bleep that turtle. Yes. Let's go. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. So we are for the right to have a banner as our father was an impoverished noble. What should our banner be, ladies and gents? Um... I like the purple here. I don't. I don't necessarily like that setup. There's rarely ever good purple armor, though. So let, let, maybe, maybe not. These these sort of dark colors are nice as well. I I, I can dig them. Um, <laughs> yes, I like it. Except maybe not. It might be a little flamboyant. Same with this. I like it, but it might be a little flamboyant. You know what? I don't care how flamboyant it is. We're doing it. Oh, this is a decision that tears at my soul because I play a ton of modded games and almost every modded game I have ever played has had save corruption that ruins the campaigns right like it happens constantly but you know some people were even trying to convince me that the reason that our previous Pandora campaign the first one that we had played on the channel was uh, corrupted was because we were playing with allow saving and it did a whole bunch of extra saves that it didn't need to do where we saved it at a I, I never saved it guys it, the only possible thing that could have happened was an auto save which would have happened with realistic anyway um, but honestly like just like in our most recent Pandora campaign I'm gonna go with realistic no quitting without saving on the following justification I went allow me to quit without saving in that first Pandora one and we still had a corrupt save, and we could not recover. And I still had a backup, and I could not recover. So let's go realistic. No quitting without saving. Straight on Iron Man. So, Lort Randa is uh, venturing the world of Pandor right now. This world will have Lort Radu in it. Now, Lort Radu, the, the former king of Pandor, uh, was fighting for conquest of, 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 of the lands, and he had taken like half of it, more than half of it, more than half of Pendor, 
and he was steamrolling everything and this great evil came across the land and cast this massive spell called 404 save game not found upon his land of Pendor and simultaneously it created an alternate dimension now in the first dimension time stopped for everybody except for Lort Radu who was going around with his um, uh, what was it rune rune armor his his mythical rune armor armor or whatever and it protected him and his rune weapons protected him because he had a rune sword and a rune axe they protected him the magic of these items of these gems and these items protected him from the 404 save game not found evil magic spell him alone nobody else he left the land he ventured off and came to Perizno. Meanwhile, his sort of alternate brother took over in the other alternate land of Pendor. That's my story, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sticking to it. But um, anyway, we've got uh, more riding than we can uh, possibly pump agility into. This is enough for. 12 agility so we wouldn't get any more until 15 so we are going to hammer dust strength here and we are going to hammer okay we need to hammer shield first because we need some points in shield in order to use a shield uh, we're going to hit athletics as well because I do like to be able to move at a somewhat decent pace we have no prisoner management no well we have two persuasion that's you know whatever four leadership that we have more than we can use anyway uh, nothing here, nothing here. Important is zero pathfinding, so we're going to be a little bit slow unless we can find a pathfinder, but I'm okay with that. Next, we are going to hammer that power strike up to six, then hammer that iron flesh up to four. Yeah. Then we're going to put our points into one-handed weapons, because we are going to be a one-handed weapon user. Fantastic. This guy, this guy doesn't, holy crap why is it doing that why uh, game okay good I'll be back when we have a face and here he is ladies and gentlemen here he is he probably doesn't quite look like our original character but that's okay when he when he crossed out of the magic barrier in Pendor he like lost 30 years or something and he became like a little cherry boy because he looks like he's about 14 now but <laughs> Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's Lord Radu. Okay, so we join a caravan to Lesbier in the Kingdom of Tolrania, or do we go to the Reich, Drahara, Makavia, Ilinturan, or the Hakan Empire? I vaguely know where all of these factions are on the map. Um, I think we are going to go to Tolrania. It's sort of in the center, and um, I believe that we are probably more likely to find uh, less super duper elite skeet crazy people who are gonna just murder us in one go here uh, if we go to the reich for example i think it's snowy in the majority of the reich but uh i'm pretty sure they have um like i won't call them bandits but they have like elite uh um minor factions running around to kill people like uh, in Pendor for example that I would uh, akin them to like the heretics or the snake cult of the Empire or something like that right like uh, an elite minor faction that we don't want to mess with I think there's probably a little bit less of that in Tolrania so let's go there we're gonna go to Lesbia ba -dum -ba -da. all right so this is Tolrania here that is apparently as well that's a really weird little location separate from everything else with nothing around it. Uh, Macavia up here. This is cool. Macavia is cool. They have um, their ruler who rules out of Macan and then he and his wife, the queen, actually owns Ford and she's a vassal on the map as well. Uh, this is uh, the Reich up here. The Reich has uh, a vassal who is actually the daughter of the king. Uh, who you can marry. You can marry the princess of the Reich. She's actually the next in line to inherit the Reich uh, in the current bloodline of the ruler who currently uh, leads there. 
I don't know what I think she might own phrasing phrasing to begin with I'm not sure uh this is what Jahara yeah Jahara the, the Hakan Empire who are like big on infantry and crossbows and stuff think very much like Bacchus Empire in a lot of ways very Roman the dwarves are up here in their little mountain home uh, I, I don't know if there's actually anything out here in the wide open expanse there might be I mean there's there these buckle giants yeah giants and then the Kulan Horde uh, Cretus Monarchy up here the suit giants up here the giants are a new faction um, big big crazy guys it's insane and you can play as them and then the elves down over here two elf factions uh, Elsinore or sorry Elintor and uh, Geldar is that what these guys are called yeah Geldar and then uh, the Ojibwe Khan here very cool and then another big chunk of land out here that I don't really know what it's here for don't really know could be there's stuff here that we just can't see I don't know like I said I don't really know much about this mod and what's that mean that means what I do know is that there's a lot of fine details there's a lot of deep dive stuff in here stuff that you need to talk to NPCs for stuff that you need to go all around for you really need to get your reputation up with individual lords on a one-by-one -one basis that means Parisno is a long-haul mod guys so you can expect to see a lot more footage in this that I would normally just dump in another thing like in Pendor um, just so if you if you, if you don't want to see slow pace then oh well but let's go to Lesbier there's a tournament here as well fantastic let's take a look at what gear we're rocking to begin with uh, segmented helmet, brown gambeson, black leather boots, red plated greaves, uh, or gauntlets, gloves, a hunter, short arming sword, it's 83 reach, not really great for on horseback, double sided lance, uh, 128 reach, so it's not a super long lance, but whatever, brown kite shield, oh -ho. so we look pretty much like a 1257 AD lord at the beginning of the game, um, okay, acceptable great sword two-handed long sword uh two-handed sword i like like a one hand okay chipped long sword 101 reach doesn't cut it for me does not cut it for me morning star with piercing damage piercing damage pole arm two-handed pole arm no shield okay and then some lances with some actual reach on them they're all a little too expensive we only have 2000 arms uh, I don't think we should be spending this money on um, gear here either. I think what we should be spending it on is probably entry into this tournament, right? Seems like it makes sense. We join the tournament and let's place bets on ourselves. We could fight in tournaments without placing bets and I think you, I'm pretty sure this works in the normal way. You would win like 2,000 gold just for winning the tournament. Uh, but the bets are what the majority of it comes from. So what I'm noticing, first of all, here is that uh, well, this is sort of based on a florist uh, framework, uh, the tournaments are not totally florist because I don't have the florist tournament set up and all that stuff here. So let's uh, fight in the next round. Does have good arenas, though. Next thing I'm noticing is I have no alternate weapon. Um, this sword is the only weapon I have. Looks like the red team took out the other uh, yellow dude. So we'll just sweep through. Uh, next thing I'm noticing is, so far at least, these tournaments don't seem ridiculous. They don't seem like the super crazy OP things that certain mods have, where like the horses are invincible in tournaments. Well, maybe they are. They didn't actually unhorse that guy. We're gonna have to see if we can kill horses in tournaments, um, or uh, other other examples of the super crazy stuff that you see in some tournaments, um, like ridiculous HP on people that just take millions and millions and millions of hits to take out, and they they can one shot you and all that kind of stuff. I don't see that so far. This looks like a very reasonable tournament. Okay, so he's got a lance. I don't want any of that. Okay, so we, we definitely took out a horse. 
We definitely just took out a horse. So we can kill horses in this mod. Yeah, no way I was gonna hit him. Let's just jump that. Hi, Blue. I see your buddy there is, oh, um, yeah, I don't have an alternate weapon. This is the only weapon I have, so I need to unhorse some people. Okay, so there's a blue guy there. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. So the problem with this is that I really need them to, like, walk into the wall, because I do not want to charge at somebody and lance each other. Like, oh. I don't want to get into a joust with people where we're both couch lancing straight at each other. That would not be pleasant. Okay, well I can take no. her out. God, yeah, lances are such shit if they're not... Oh man, this is the scenario I did not want to get into. That wouldn't have been a particularly powerful attack, but I would- Oh, no, no, I don't want to be in that scenario. We did four- Okay, hold on. I might be able to take his mount out, like- <laughs> Oh, I hate lances so much. I, I don't actually hate lances so much. I I've, I've used lances fairly effectively in, like, 1250, and all that kind of thing. What I hate is dicking around with lances. Oh, come on, I got you there, too. I engineered that so that I can attack you without you being able to couch your lance. Oh, crap. They managed to right at the end there. Oh, Jesus, this is, this is just, this is, this is just hectic. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Let me, let me come around and deprive you of your life, sir. Yeah. Damn, it doesn't stay, doesn't stay couched when you jump. Okay, okay, that, that's something I need to remember. <laughs> you can't, you can't keep your lance ready to attack when you, no, 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 no. See, see, the reason we're doing this and we're being such a little pansy ass is because Mountain Blade Warband does not have jousting in it. It has two people run at each other and there is no skill involved. It's completely 100% luck which one of them hits and which one of them dies. So do not ever joust with somebody in Mountain Blade. It will not work out well for you. Or maybe it will, but if you keep doing it, you'll lose half the time, and I can't afford to lose half the time. I'm putting all of my money on this. I hate dicking around with lances without having another weapon. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Deliver 12 damage to mount. That's nice. We're, we're, we're gonna do this like stationary lance thing against each other here. Miss, of course. God, I wish we had a secondary weapon. I hope this isn't the case in every single tournament, because this is going to get really, really annoying if it is. Ooh, ooh. Yeah! Alright. His horse is down. Unfortunately, he still has a lance, with, and it has the same reach as ours, which means that he can still really hurt us. Um, he can still really hurt us because we charge into him. He'll get a speed bonus the same way we would. Okay, he parried us course because that's you know a thing you can do you can you can parry a heavy cavalry well I guess we're not really heavy cavalry are we now charge for three damage let's come back around lance at the ready oh come on get your shit together man get your shit together this is like what round two we got an entire tournament ahead of us still guys we better win this like, all I gotta say is we better win in this tournament. Fuck 
fucking horse. Why do you get in my way, horse? There we go. Holy crap. That, that wasn't so much stressful as it was just irritating. Like, if we had a club, that would have been great. We done. We would have won that in two seconds. Alright, let's fight in the next round. We've got a lance again. Great. So they have a lancer. And they have a guy on foot. Good. <laughs> Lancer taken out. You can deal with the guy on foot. Either that or I will swing around and uh, deal with him myself. Uh, okay, I'll go this way. There we go. Uh, Sir Kelras knocked unconscious by Lord Radu. Okay, okay. We're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. This is, what, uh, 1,500 of our 2,000 now, or is it all 2,000? I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. We've got a two-hander this time. They have two horsemen. One of them has a lance. One of them is a lancer. we got to keep him slow, because I don't have a shield. You can actually absorb a couch lance with a shield pretty effectively. You usually lose the shield, but we got to take this guy down. Gonna swing for the bleachers here. Whoever this is, they're bound to have more proficiency than us. Yeah, we have 77, so we gotta be careful. Desert Assassin, Ord Tom. Okay, cool. Okay, we're out of money, so we bet all 2,000. Let's uh, fight in the next round. There, there are four participants remaining, so there's two rounds left. This one and one more. Okay, does he have a lance? No, he's got a two-handed sword. Good. Not good, not good, not good, because he's going to want to charge right at us. I need to set up a jousting attack on him, which means i got to do something like this a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, that'll... What's more? Can we get him on this side? Nope, he's already on the other side. There's a chest in here. There can't possibly be something in it, right? Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Horse is down, and now we need to circle back around and deprive him of his life. That's right. Con! Very good. I do highly encourage you to make use of the uh, first-person camera. It's by default the R key whenever you're using the lance. You don't have to, especially if you have the... Um, uh, attack direction indicator on, but uh, I still encourage it. Uh, we can't bet, so I guess we will just fight in the last round. So we have a sword, a two-handed sword. They have a one-handed sword. They do not have a lance. Oh, come on. Okay, that, 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 that definitely wouldn't have hit, but come on. That first one should have hit. 32 damage. I mean, I've got a two-handed sword. I've got to have some kind of reach. He's blocking. We'd be, we would be doing damage to him if he wasn't blocking. We, we did manage to take out the mount, though. So let's uh, let's get the champion fighter KO. And we win. Seventeen thousand five hundred arms because we don't have uh, um, enough money to bet it up to it, it, it must be 19,000 it must be just like it is in Pandora 19,900 or whatever so 20 grand basically uh, if we we if we had a little bit more money we would have gotten that and 2,000 extra so we got 19,5 out of it anyway that's that, that's acceptable uh, let's go to the castle and since we won a tournament does the lord here have a wife it does look indeed like he does so we will go to Countess Megar here and we will dedicate our victory to her Specifically because she didn't like it very much, but the reason we want to do this, even if she is married, is because uh, if we ever need her to smooth over relations with her husband, or anybody for that matter, um, especially in her family, uh, we need her to like us. Otherwise, she's not going to be inclined to do that. 
So I think with that, we're going to call it quits on episode one of Prisno, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this tournament was a little bit slow, uh, but expect a very slow-paced game for Prisno. We might, we might level relatively quickly at times, but expect us to be spending a lot of time working on Lord relations, a lot of time working on relations with ladies, even if we're not wooing them, a lot of time working on tournaments for money and then investing that money into landlords and money lenders. One of my favorite florist features is here as well. We can buy land and earn income off of it. Uh, so we don't have to use the productive enterprises, although I think we still will buy enterprises everywhere as well. Expect a lot of time dedicated to all of that. Expect a lot of stuff not being cut out. So just be prepared for that. Thank you, and I hope to see you again next time.